That was my reaction after posting my last video. That was my reaction after seeing your reaction after I posted my last video. Guys, you are awesome. Look at this, 1.4 thousand views. I was racking up thousands of views every day. You guys were commenting and messaging like crazy. It wasn't just ex-geos, it was current geos. It was people who weren't geos at all, even. People who've been on all-inclusive vacations were saying, well, we kind of go through that too when we come back from a vacation. After seeing all of those messages and comments, I took to Facebook and Instagram and I asked you, would you be interested if I shared some of the stories that you sent in? And uh, you all said yes. So this video is about that. So today we're going to share some other things that happen when you stop being a geo submitted by you. At the end of the video, I'll share the top three things that you all mentioned. The most common things that happened to everyone. It was almost unanimous. By the way, there's going to be a little bit of French in there. So you can switch on the English captions. Pour ceux qui parlent français, sachez que vous pouvez rajouter des... Je suis comme trop énervée. Pour ceux qui parlent français, sachez que vous pouvez rajouter des sous-titres sur YouTube pour pouvoir comprendre la vidéo au complet si vous n'êtes pas super à l'aise en anglais. Et, et tenemos también euh, subtitles. To look that up uh, in espanol uh, con youtube es posible oh man my spanish is doing so well um all right so here are some other things that happen when you stop being a geo number 10 you won't be able to buy clothes without thinking of the dress code shopping without a dress code now is awesome but it can be a little bit overwhelming at times. Like Marie-Hélène wrote, uh, sometimes it feels like it would be much simpler with a dress code. For those of you who are not aware, every night at Club Med there is a special dress code. It's super simple, blue and white or all black. Guests don't have to participate in that dress code, but the geos do. So when you're packing for your geo mandate, you have to pack or in some cases buy the clothes that correspond to each dress code. As Nati Marquez wrote, every time you go to a store, you find yourself choosing clothes according to the colors of the dress codes. If it doesn't fit with a dress code, you're not gonna buy it because when will you wear it? I mean, you could wear it on your day off, but you tend to wear more loungy clothes on your day off. Anyway, but that's for another video. Nick Von Holstein wrote, what about going out on a Friday night and you're the only one dressed in white? That hasn't happened to me yet, Nick, but uh, that might be because our white nights were on Thursdays when I left. All right, number nine, you'll miss taking naps every day. Yeah, Jojo wrote in with that one. She says she misses napping. I know what you're thinking. What, geos have time to nap? I know we tend to hear about how busy geos are and how crazy their schedule is, and, and it is, but they also have breaks. It is customary to take a nap during that break time. As Jojo says, uh, real jobs don't allow that, unless you crawl into your parked car at lunchtime. Yeah, and here she is now. <laughs> this is Jojo sneaking in a lunchtime nap. <laughs> Go Jojo. Number eight, people told me they actually left restaurants without paying. Uh, Roxanne told me that she left without paying and had to come back and she had to explain to the owner that she's just not used to paying at restaurants anymore. Essaye d'expliquer au gars toi que t'es juste plus habitué de payer dans un restaurant. Ça passe comme moins bien. Number seven, you're constantly looking for your badge. Katrine, I hope I'm saying this right, Katrine Valtalen wrote, she would always think, oops, I lost my badge. And she would look at other people's badges too. When you're a geo, you wear a badge all the time. And the worst thing that can happen is losing that badge. No, wait, the worst thing that can happen is walking to work and realizing you forgot your badge in your room. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, luckily, no need to worry about that anymore. Number six. You'll notice the details. Matthew Fearnley wrote in with this one. He says, you notice details at public events, like the tag showing on a tablecloth on stage. I agree. Club Med trained us well. I personally picked up trash the other day without thinking about it. It was in the street and my friends were kind of like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. Number five, you'll have to get used to the cold again. John Pearson wrote, it took a month for him to get accustomed to the cold. He went from Club Med Huatulco. There's no longer a Club Med there, but there used to be in Mexico. So he went from there to North Carolina. Spy. Number four, you get out of your comfort zone. Kim wrote that Clement taught her how to get out of her comfort zone and to go for it. Crazy signs and all. Manolo Franco says that he is now more than he was as a person before the experience, I guess. There's a lot of things that you sort of have to like, okay, this is weird. I'm going on stage and I'm dressed as a, what's the weirdest thing I dressed up as on stage? Yeah, there have been some weird costumes that I've like not been 100% sure about, uh, but you just go out there and you have fun and you just sort of learn to not care. Okay, number three, uh, learning new languages. I got this message from three Homer Simpson. I'm 
guessing that's not his real name, but it's cool though. He wrote, he was a geo in Italy for one year and a half. It was the best experience of his life and he improved his English there. I know personally of a lot of people who walked out of Clamed just knowing all these brand new languages that they couldn't even speak a little bit of before they started. Personally, I developed my Spanish. My Spanish no es muy bueno. I mean, I can get by and understand it, which is way more than when I started. Number two, following your passion. Alfonso Natarali wrote, life in Club Med is so easy and so good because he was able to do what he had a passion for. And I agree with that 100%. And I mean, I developed a passion for making videos like this and now I just, I love it. I don't know if I would have gotten into this as much if it hadn't been for Club Med. And number one, you keep coming back. Jenner Jensen wrote, you forgot to mention how many times you will return to Club Med after you stop. I was in Club Med from 1989 to 1995, but came back to work uh, a month or two each year for the next 12 years and he's getting ready to do it again in a few weeks, hopefully. That's a good one, Jenner, because I actually know a lot of people who <laughs> who have done that. Uh, Geos will, will quit and they say, you know what, I'm done with this. And then you'll see them a season or two later being like, yeah, I'm just gonna come back for one season. So there you go. Those are the new things that you told me about. I don't know about you watching, but I can relate to all of those as well. So those were all really, really good examples. And now here are the top three things that so many of you told me. It kept coming back over and over again. Before we get to that though, just don't forget to subscribe to my channel please tap the notification bell so you get notified when you when you geos when new videos come out if you're not a geo or an ex geo but you made it this far in the video yay i promise there won't only be geo videos on this channel i hope you're thoroughly entertained though so here it is the top three things that you guys mentioned saying hello to everybody on the streets lynn elizabeth remy says the saying hello never goes away durandi who is still a ge i keep mentioning geos but ge's also go through a lot of things too durandi still works works at Clement as a G and he says he still says hi to random people on the street when he's outside the, the resort. I, I can totally see that happening. Number two, crazy signs have indeed changed your lives. Uh, so many of you are dancing to crazy signs, like like even years later. Apparently it really does stay stuck in your head. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Kim uh, said her husband and son say they are used to her crazy signs. Katrine says crazy signs after dinner uh, is a thing in her home. And she says she now cannot dance without an example in front of her. Because when you're dancing crazy signs at Club Med, you normally have a geo in front of you or on a stage. So you're sort of following along. That's pretty funny. And Clémence Lou says en français, uh, elle a une anecdote dans sa voiture avec son chéri qui n'est pas géo. Elle dit que lorsqu'un crazy sign passe à la radio, elle explose de joie et elle danse et lui ne comprend pas. <rire> I guess we could add to that. Si t'as pas été géo, des fois c'est difficile de comprendre notre comportement ou, ou pourquoi on en parle autant. Finally, the number one thing. I am absolutely blown away. I know I mentioned this in my last video, but now I have the proof. You really never stop remembering your geo experience. I have people, I'm gonna to try to go through this quickly, but you still commented on my last video telling me how much you related to everything I, I was saying, even if it had been years since you stopped. Amy Martinez wrote, I have been out for one year and something and I still miss it so much. Titi Rageux, c'est un, un beau nom. Il a été géo de 2011 à 2017 et il dit qu'il se retrouve complètement dans la vidéo. Elise Pixin dit tout est vrai, même dix ans plus tard. Ashley Janae Maxwell, she was a geo 10 years ago. She used to tell people it was like you went far, far away in a strange land uh, and just came back and you're not sure how to live in the normal world anymore. Noureddin Abdoulafez, m'excuse si je dis pas ton nom comme faux, il a été géo au Club Med Sinai B, c'est aussi un Club Med en Égypte qui, qui n'existe plus, donc ça fait plusieurs années. Il dit que ça a été formidable. Uh, I'm always talking about this experience to the world. Geneviève Couette, elle dit que ça fait 17 ans depuis qu'elle a arrêté le Club Med. Elle dit que c'est toujours aussi vrai, surtout les crazy signs. Diana Girardi, she says, I can so relate to this even after 25 plus years. She was born and raised in Montreal and spent uh, the early 90s as a geo and she still appreciates the memories and experiences like no other. Pam Keller says it's so true. She's been out for 30 years and she still talks about it. Isabelle Fisher, same thing. She says she still talks about it after 30 years as well. Louisanne Lemire, uh, elle dit qu'elle a été géo de 1987 à 1995. Elle en parle encore avec autant de bonheur et de nostalgie. Bill Burkholder, uh, he says the video is spot on. You stopped being a geo when I was born. That's not that long ago, obviously. Tim Purcell, I've been out for 37 years, still in contact with GOs and GMs. Sal Manila, oui, a quitté le Club Med après 14 villages en 1980. Il a encore des amis dans le monde entier et en a même épousé une aussi. Nous avons des enfants GO. Et finalement, Inca Sochon Stucker, I still talk about it even after 41 years. It's 
That's insane, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your stories with me. I kind of knew this already, but now I can confirm we all go through the same things. So I think we need to embrace everything that happened and appreciate all these memories that we have uh, because it, clearly it's a one of a kind experience. I'm so grateful. And from what I'm reading, so are all of you. If you're a parent, a sibling, a child, a grandchild, a friend of an XGO, I hope this explains a lot. I hope you get it now. Thanks so much for listening all the way to the end. Oh my gosh, that was long. <laughs>